Hey guys, welcome to our Design and Manufacturing Project 1 presentation, Integrating Industry 4.0. And this is presented by Group D, Craig Ackerman, Molly Colborn, Max Gagnon, and Steph Oliva. So we'll be breaking our presentation into three parts. The first part will be the background, in which we talk about the importance of manufacturing and current challenges. Uh, the second part will be our key challenge, identifying the most pressing challenge, and uh, as well as industry cases. And the third part of our presentation will be the solution. Uh, so we'll have a look at what industry leaders have done to address this challenge that we have identified and also discuss how our solution can be beneficial to an average manufacturer. So what is manufacturing and why does it matter? So manufacturing um, is essentially part assembly, right? But if it were that simple, engineers would have much simpler jobs than they actually do. Manufacturing, in the words of James Dyson, is more than just putting parts together. It's coming up with ideas, testing principles, and perfecting engineering, as well as the final assembly. So some current manufacturing challenges that companies face include a skilled labor gap, um, so piloting new technology, um, aging workforce, supply chain disruptions, analyzing and aggregated collected data. So we'll concentrate mostly on the integration of data and piloting programs in this particular presentation. So challenges um, have obviously been exacerbated by the, by the pandemic. Um, it's made innovating even more challenging. Um, I know, for example, in my internship, um, which began in January of 2020, we saw engineers basically have to drop their pilot programs and concentrate on recovery work that were dropped by contractors that were forced to leave the company. Um, so now we'll go into our key challenge. Um, so our key challenge is that manufacturers are basically falling short of their full potential by not fully integrating Industry 4.0 technology at scale. And before we go into our main solution, we have some definitions that we're going to have a look at to clarify basically what we're talking about. So in order to truly understand what Industry 4.0 is and how it can help manufacturing process. First, you need to understand what goes on in the manufacturing process. And so this graph on the right is taken from the lecture slides, and um, I think it does a good job of displaying how complicated the manufacturing process is. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of different points in the process that affect other parts, and our job as engineers is to optimize this process, both for cost and for time. Um, and so to do that, we need data. We need to know everything about our customers. We need to know everything about um, our assembly lines. We need to know everything about the machinery on our assembly lines, on our supply chain. Um, and with this data, we can make educated decisions on, on all the different parts in our process. Um, so if we know, you know what our customers want, what they need, we can make educated decisions about the product design and the development of the product. If we know how long certain components or certain machines on our line tend to tend to be down for when they break and how often they break, um, we can have replacements ready and have people ready to fix them at the right times um, and reduce downtimes and reduce defects. Uh, if we know how much our customers are willing to pay for a certain uh, for a certain product, then we can, can figure out the the best the most optimal price to charge for that product. Um, we can make educated decisions about everything and optimize that, but we need we need data. And with 21st century technology, we have the means to get data. We have, in fact, too much data. We can't sift through all this data manually. We need something else. And that's really where Industry 4.0 technology comes in. Data is at the core of the fourth industrial revolution. Industry 4.0 is changing the manufacturing industry to increase interconnectivity and automation to make processes more flexible and productive. Some technologies that are enabling these changes include additive manufacturing, which is often 3D printing, cloud computing, machine learning, and the Industrial Internet of Things, or IIoT. The Industrial Internet of Things involves machines on the manufacturing floors collecting data that is then held on cloud servers so that softwares can process it. Thus, the Industrial Internet of Things is heavily reliant on operational technology, OT, and information technology, IT, that then processes, stores, and uses that collected data. The challenge of converging IT and OT is the greatest hurdle for manufacturers currently. 
they are often caught in what industry experts call pilot purgatory, a state of trying to deploy an industry 4.0 fit, but failing to bring their piloted technologies to scale. 70% of manufacturers are seeing value in industry 4.0 technology adoption, and thus they're rolling out connectivity, intelligence, and automation pilots. This is a great feat. However, they're only able to deploy around 30% of these technology pilots at the full scale. Thus, they need a way to achieve the full potential of technologies in an economically and feasible way. Failure to bring industry 4.0 technologies to scale is a widespread issue for manufacturers across all industries. Around 30% of companies pulled by McKinsey have yet to deploy technology pilots, while 41% of them are actively piloting, yet only 29% of companies have transitioned their pilots to successfully operate at scale. This pilot purgatory is largely driven by the ITOT hurdle. The last mile exists because existing manufacturing machines and operating systems cannot be easily integrated with new softwares. Additionally, there are security concerns, financial, challenge, financial challenges, and poor collaboration between technical engineering teams. Manufacturers industry 4.0 strategies are failing, and they need a well-defined path for success. Before getting to that path to success, I want to help visualize what the success actually looks like. This figure was created by Deloitte Insights, and it visualizes the core difference between our current industry model and the industry 4.0 model. The traditional linear fit that has been placed since the last century has been would be very successful. However, as we move to a new era of manufacturing, with new resources for data collection, in terms of quality control, overproduction, et cetera, to be collected, the traditional model falls short on being able to use those resources. This is where the 4.0 model shines. And having all the individual components of the manufacturing process interconnected, not only with the step before and the step after, but with all steps in the process. This allows the big data to be used in a short enough period of time that is still prevalent and not out of date. That last mile of integration of either IT OT bridge or the implementation of the analysis of that previously mentioned big data is what we found to be the most challenging to accomplish and is what's holding almost a third of companies back from transitioning into the 4.0 model. Moving to Industry 4.0 looks different for every application and company. So instead of a product that will help companies make that switch, we developed a plan broad enough to have that applications everywhere we need to, but we'll still have a skeleton structure for those companies to follow. This is defined in three steps. The first consists of finding the right fit. What's the goal and what metrics are you trying to achieve? Once that goal has been defined with target operating improvements, define a clear distinction of the roles involved, how existing roles will change, or new roles. Also, identify what is easiest to start with, flash that causes tsunami in the rest of the company. Finally, implementation. Include the new systems into everyday routines and ensure communications and other accessory systems are in place that are functional enough to be used every day. This will help make sure this new model isn't abandoned after the excitement dies down. A Swiss headquartered digital company deployed a similar approach that we've proposed when trying to get a leg up in one of their German facilities. They decided to improve quality control on their mini circuit breakers. So by leveraging the internal technology ecosystem within the company and using a dedicated project team and a bunch of experts, they calculated the business case and figured, is this worth it? It implemented financially viable technologies that met the needs and could provide improvement. Their final solution included cameras mining products at all points of the production process. This data was then fed into an AI system that results in a 4% quality increase per day, every day. Industry Week found nine examples of lighthouses across the globe, five in Europe, three in China, and one in the US that show what moving to Industry 4.0 can do for companies and how different manufacturing environments in different parts of the country and different fields can make that switch. These locations have seen improvements such as higher performance and an easier ability to scale to meet ever-changing markets. Ultimately, Industry 4.0 integration allows for more than just technological advancement. It's an avenue for the highest level of operational excellence.
Thank you. And do you have any questions? 